Hey guys, uh, Tony, interpretive naturalist with you back from, uh, from Lake Metro Parks. I'm at Baker Road Park today in Madison and we're going to do a little animal tracking. So I don't know if we're going to find anything. I don't know what we're going to find, but let's take a look around and see what we can find. Um, we'll start right here on the shores of the Grand River and there's a lot of little scratch marks along the shoreline. There's a lot of sort of dragging going on here. Now, this could be a couple of things. Could just be uh, some canoes or some kayaks being uh, dragged into the water or out of the water. But I happen to know that there are beaver in this part of the Grand River. So it's also possible that they could be sliding down or crawling out of the river. So I'll tell you what, why don't we get out of the sun and into the forest to see if we could maybe find some other evidence of beavers and maybe we could find some evidence of some other animals too. Let's go see what we can find. So we're walking through the woods here at Baker Road and a couple of good uh, things to have when you're trying to track animals. Uh, obviously something like this that says animal tracking. Um, there, you can get all different kinds of these. They have different animals found. Um, some of their tracks, some of this has uh, other things that might be helpful. Um, things like beaver lodges, what do they look like? Um, hair, sometimes you'll find fur from like a deer or something. Uh, also a good resource are these pamphlets put out by the ODNR. This one's on mammals. They have them on all sorts of different stuff. You can get them for free either through their website um, or at some of the parks. Once they open up, you can certainly go in and grab one of these. Uh, but they have all sorts of stuff, including where in Ohio they're found, what their tracks look like, and a little bit about the animal itself. Now, I stopped here because on the ground, we do have a lot of stuff down here. Um, let's take a closer look. So obviously, there's tire tracks down here. We're going to disregard those. Um, but there are some animal tracks here. Now, judging by the size and shape, that is almost certainly somebody's pet dog. Okay, that's to be expected in a park like this. Um, one thing you gotta keep in mind is this mud's kinda hard, hasn't rained in a while. So if any animals have been through here recently, they're probably not gonna make too big of an impression. Uh, we have some other stuff around here. We have this weird sort of almost triangular shaped thing. Not quite sure what that is, but I know back here we have these scratches in the ground. And uh, my good friend Amber and I were here yesterday looking around for some animal tracking stuff and we saw a lot of these and we're not entirely sure what they are. Um, could be beaver, it could be something else. Uh, but I, I still think there are beaver here and I think if we keep walking through the woods, we might be able to find something a little more concrete to tell us that there's beaver around. Let's keep going. Well, we did it. We found concrete evidence of beaver. Uh, if you scan this little wetland here, right down here, uh, you can see a small stump sticking out and you can see that it's been chewed off by a beaver. In fact, there's a couple of other smaller uh, trees further out. Uh, hopefully you guys can get a good look at those as well. So definitely, there are definitely beaver here. Uh, so we solved the mystery, but well, that was cool, right? I feel like we could probably find evidence of at least one more animal. We found some more animal evidence. Right over here, if you take a look, all of this dark stuff, well, that's scat. Uh, now I know some of you might be thinking, ew, animal poop, but this actually is a really good indicator of the types of animals you'll find. Now we see there's a whole bunch of it right around here. I know by looking at it, the shape of it and everything, it's almost certainly raccoon. Uh, raccoons also use latrines, so they all kind of use the bathroom in the same place. And we can see there's a lot of things used in the bathroom right here. Um, so I think we're on to some more raccoons. Obviously, they're all over the place. But I would love to find at least one more little hint of evidence of raccoon. The Grand River is full of freshwater mussels, and these are the remnants of some freshwater mussels. And one of the things raccoons love to eat freshwater mussels. They like to just pry them open with their little hands and eat the gooey insides. So we found some cool stuff. 
some evidence of raccoon, some evidence of beaver. Um, and I think I'm pretty satisfied with that. And <laughs> well, what do, what do you know? One more animal on our way out, more scat. Uh, and I know that by the shape of that, that's deer scat. And we all know that there's plenty of deer here in Northeast Ohio. So next time you're out walking around the woods, maybe you'll keep a little, keep an eye open, pay some attention to what's around here. Because even if you don't see any animals, there's always evidence of animals. Uh, I'm Tony, once again, interpretive naturalist with Lake Metro Parks here at Baker Road Park. And I'll see you out on the trail.